Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. I recently purchased three new Born Pretty stamping plates inspired around the sea. So in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing Born Pretty Sea World stamping plates S001, S002 and S003. As always you can find information on where to purchase from in the description box below. Before we get started please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification turned on. And please also like this video. These really do help out my channel. Thank you. As always, I have my usual stamper and scraper. I'm going to start with SeaWorld S001. I have six coloured nail tips that I'll be swatching onto. I'll be taking two swatches from each plate. For the first swatch, I'll be using a white nail tip along with a blue stamping polish. So I will remove any excess that I've picked up like the mermaid arm and part of the seahorse. This little collection of images really makes a very pretty nail with the plants on the bottom and the fish above. I've actually used this collection for the mani that I've created. For the next swatch I'll be using a blue nail tip along with a dark blue stamping polish. I was trying to think through all of the stamping plates I have if I had an image of a whale breaking water and I honestly can't think of one. I definitely want to use this for another sea inspired Manny. The waves are really interesting though as well. Not what I would usually think of as waves, but the whole image is stunning and fills the nail really well. Moving on to SeaWorld S002, and I'm going to use a teal nail tip along with a white stamping polish. These images are really on the small side. So once I've picked up the image, I will remove any excess that I've collected at the top and the bottom. Now you could add some more bubbles from the image if you were to stamp it again, but it is a stunning design though. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. For the next swatch, I'll be using a light green nail tip and a dark green stamping polish. Again, I'll be doing the same and just like the last swatch, you could add some extra bits to the nail or even just take the mermaid because on her own, she's beautiful. And to be honest, that's probably what I would do to be fair. I wouldn't want all them extra little bits. I'm not a fan of them. I'd want to create my own extra bits. But the whole image is still a very pretty image though. Moving on to SeaWorld S003 and for this first swatch I'll be using a dark shimmery blue nail tip along with a white stamping polish again. I am slightly turning the plate because I like to scrape in the direction that lines go. This is just a personal preference. But again a really interesting swatch and would look great in any nautical mani. I think in my entire nail time I've only made a couple and you could even add some colour to that bow it would really look pretty. For the next swatch I'll be using a light blue nail tip along with a dark blue stamping polish again. Now I know that I don't have any plates that have octopuses on but I did add some to the mani I made and as I'd never used them before I thought it was a good time to use them. They definitely add something different to a sea mani and to be fair there's quite a few to choose from as well from the small to the large. They really do look cool though. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and mani that I've created from Born Pretty Sea World stamping plates. Born Pretty Sea World S001 is full of beautiful sea creatures from the little turtle, the seahorse, the large mermaid, starfish to even a lighthouse and a whale. In total I've taken 10 random swatches and to be totally fair I could have taken even more. S001 is a really interesting plate. I've mainly used white greens and blues for the pop sticks and images as I feel that's mainly what I use for sea themed nails. Now with the small images like the fish, the turtle and the plants, you could just pick them up individually. But as you saw in the video, you can also pick up the whole area for a nail as well. This is what gives S001 so many 
possible nail ideas and I absolutely love it. For the Manny I've used all three plates to create one Manny which I will show at the end of the video. Born Pretty Sea World S002 has a mix of size images from the small images at the bottom to the squares at the top which I will come back to later. But I've taken 11 swatches. All of the little designs are doubled up on the pop sticks and there is even a little flower that is a layered design as well. But there's a real nice mix of designs across the whole of the plate. Now the images at the top, if you have small nails, then you're going to be fine. However, if you have long nails, like mine, then you're probably going to want to add something extra to fill the whole nail, either by double stamping, so lay one at the top and then one at the bottom, sort of trying to line up in the middle. For me, having these images in the middle of a nail and nothing else would really annoy me. But there are some really interesting designs though, very unusual designs. I definitely want to see what money I could do with just S002. The reason I purchased these is because I have a mermaid plate from another brand coming to my channel. And I'm sure you can probably guess what brand and what plate. Born Pretty Sea World S003 is another plate full of small and large individual designs of which I've taken 10 random swatches and again I could have taken even more. Now one thing I did miss when swatching is the layering fish just below the boat. It wasn't until I was taking pictures and whatnot that I saw it. I did question it though because once I'd seen it I was like I'm sure they match together. So that is something I definitely want to try. I did also wonder if the image on the bottom, the open space one was gonna give me problems. However, I was surprised that the images that I did scrape over and pick it up, it came out fully complete. So I was super impressed. A part of this plate I think will work well with the water breaking whale on the first plate and that's the boat and the whales or dolphins at the top. So I think all three plates will work really well together and that is why I chose to do the Manny like that. So for the Manny I used a shimmery teal green gel polish and a mix of different shades of green to complete this Manny. I sort of wanted to give the Manny some depth to the nails to create that underwater feeling. This is something that I have never done before and for my first try I don't think it's come out too bad. It's a very different Manny for me. I did think about adding some of that glitter that I recently used on a summer plate that I created like an underwater theme for, but I felt that it might have been just a little bit too much, but I'm really happy with this money. I really do like it. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days, along with the money and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd really be grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Born Pretty, sea world stamping plates i hope that you've enjoyed it if you did then please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it comment below i love to hear from you hit that subscribe button and share also don't forget to come over and follow me on my instagram page at glitter shine nails so until next time happy stamping and bye